how do? Uh, welcome to another episode. Uh, it's Friday night, uh, still back end of January, but it has been payday for a lot of people, so it might be a little bit busier around the places we go tonight. Uh, we've made it to South Leicestershire. Holly is here. She doesn't say a lot, as you know, but she is here. Uh, we made it to Wigston uh, in South Leicestershire, uh, and we're starting on the outskirts with this uh, big looking pub called the Chartwell Arms. Uh, don't know what to expect from Wigston. Uh, it looks a little bit spread out. Um, but there looks to be, I don't know, it looks to be 10 or 12 here to get done. It is a town uh, and we like little towns. So I'm going to go and see what the night brings. So up first, the Chartwell Arms. Bring on Wigston. Yeah, it's a big old pub with a bit of sport going on. You've got a pork and stuff out the back. Uh, you're not going to find any hand pulls and stuff on in there. But it's, uh, it's a um, bog standard selection. Bar through that side. A uh, big party going on. And stuff. You won't find any handfuls. It's not that cold to drink this pub. But it's friendly enough. Not a bad introduction at Wigston. Yeah, it's an Indian run pub. Um, up on like an industrial area. So uh, not necessarily one in a town uh, that you would, you'd probably move on from for, for drinking. Uh, mix of people in there. Workmen, lads around one side. Uh, an Indian family about to celebrate a 40th birthday or something in the other. So a good mix of people. Um, but yeah, moving on around to the outside still. Um, to, so we've come through a hard... Where you've got little parade of shops and things. And the next one is this, the Aberdale. Garn and stuff outside. Uh, so it's another... Um, Holly says it's an Everard. The sign does say it's an Everard. So I've never been in the bad Everard's pub. Up number two, uh, the Aberdale. It feels a lot different than a lot of the Everard's pubs again. A lot of them are like old, historic um, pubs, whereas this one, it's more, it's got definitely got a more modern feel, more sort of community, yet local style about it. It's got kind of handfuls on. Um, on the bar, as you would expect, it's split into two sides. Um, it's definitely a family-friendly community pub, though. Different to different to sort of the old-style Everard's ones I was in yesterday. Nothing wrong with that. Prices were cheap again. Uh, so we've made it more into what looks like a little towny bit uh, of Wigston. Uh, three pubs in a row. Uh, the first of which, for us anyway, is the Star and a whopping great beer garden on it. Really good, impressive-looking beer garden. And big old pub that looks like that. Didn't look very open from down there, but it certainly is. All the lights are on. Uh, our third stop of the night, Star and Garter. So yeah, so that clip obviously was uh, the other side we were in that we got served. Uh, so pub spent two sides. Nice no, really good, uh, good mix of people and stuff using the place. Um, so this side's a bit narrow, uh, a bit of seating and stuff. Got TV and stuff on for the sport. Some Leicester City memorabilia. You know, I must say I love Leicester City. And uh, a little bar and stuff on the... Prices again, dirt cheap around here. Liking the prices. Uh, yeah, it's, it's all right for a Friday night. Uh, reasonably busy. Uh, our next stop along, uh, walking so... Yeah, it's three in a row. Uh, down this little row, which is uh, obviously their main high street. Uh, banks. Nice to see some banks still open. Loads of takeaways that look really good. Uh, but our next stop, the William Wigston. Where the spoons? So it must be Holly's round. It is. What a shock. Yeah, this one's so busy that there's not a single seat in the entire pub uh, to sit down. Which is not helping the fact that uh, I put my back out on my back to the end. Yeah, absolutely slammed full uh, of weather spoons. Goes down that way. Um, yeah, absolutely slammed. Busy. Uh, do you want to see the carpet? You do want to see the carpet, don't you? Yeah, look. I'm too good to you. Oh. That's a beauty, isn't it? Ooh. Busy, busy, busy for a spoons. Um, same side of the road, walking about 200 yards down, uh, is a micro pub. Uh, love a good micro pub. Looking forward to doing one of those at least tonight. And this one looks particularly beautiful. Uh, the one in question, the tap and barrel. So very nice. Um, yeah, weather spoons, absolutely packed. Uh, it's the only thing around here that really has been mega, mega packed. Um, but onto a micro pub. So stop number five, the tap and barrel. Yeah, this is right, this is right on my street. This is a proper, a proper, I said, this is the one that people sort of recommended to us, said, you like this, and I do. Uh, obviously, I've got a Vogue City Sour on. Uh, so we just met, we just met Spano from the, uh, he's got his own, he's got his own pub in his garden called the Spencer Arms. You can follow them on, uh, you follow them on Instagram, the Spencer Arms, so we've got, we're following them. Um, he bought, he bought us a drink, he's well happy to see us. Um, this has got a wonderful selection uh, of stuff in here. So I've obviously gone with the fruits of the forest, as you would expect. But a phenomenal 
flexion things. So when people tell me that um, certain places I'll like and they, they know me only too well, give us a wave. This is the landlady and her other half, absolutely lovely people. And they just look at this, it's just like, you can all give us a wave. Like, hey, hey, hey. What, a, uh, what a gorgeous, what a gorgeous uh, little micro pub this is. Yeah, this is, this is, uh, this is this yeah this is this was worth the wait so far for what we've trawled through already in uh, in Wigston uh, and moving on but yeah Wigston's all right and this is a, this is a real gem so if you've not been down here and you live in this sort of area you should definitely get down to this one because it is banging. Honestly, absolutely love the Tap and Barrel. That is a, that is a mega little micro pub. Um, people are really friendly and they're really really friendly. We've got an invite to uh, the Spencer's Arms as well next time we're around, which is always nice to. Uh, Nice to hear. I do. Uh, I do love a good home bar. So yeah, we'll have to. Uh, we'll have to go and uh, get in there. Spano is a, a lovely fella, uh, and provide us with a drink. So, what? Uh, what? What more can I say? Uh, I had a lovely sour as well. Love a good vault city, you know. Right. So, uh, three minute, four minute walk from there, uh, sort of out of the town, brings us to the pub that once again I've forgotten the name of. The Two Steeples, massive, great Green King pub. This. Uh, run by lovely people, Nick and Sarah. I have it on good authority because Holly has known Sarah for many, many years. And uh, indeed, uh, in the last one, told us how lovely they are. So, uh, looking forward to this. Uh, it's a bit, it's massive, this. Uh, and this is stop number seven along the way. Two steeples. Yeah, big, big old pub. This. So we're only sat on one side of it, but it's, um, it's very clean, it's very well presented. Uh, it's, a, it's a classic uh, Green King menu, things like that, which, I, which we like. So we, we've eaten in quite a few of these. Um, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Uh, a few of the Green King hand pulls on, you've got the Abbots and the, uh, and the IPA. Uh, really, really good selection on the lager. So the Peroni and Estrella and um, things like that. But yeah, it's a very, um, I would be spoiling it. But it is a, um, it's a very clean, tidy, well presented Green King pub. That's what you need, really. Um, yeah, top notch. Uh, a further like four minute walk uh, opposite the SO garage, and you'll come the Horse and Trumpet. Which looks a, uh, a nice old pub, big, uh, big old main road that we're stood on now at the moment. But yeah, this, uh, this looks a decent one. This is stop seven, Horse and Trumpet. Uh, yeah, it's another Everard's pub. Uh, it's very nice. Just met the landlord, Julian, uh, who very kindly brought us a drink, which is always appreciated. It's, uh, yeah, it's very um, really good selection of stuff on the bar. The pulls on. You can watch all the sport and things in here. And it's just a, uh, it's just a nice big old pub with a pool table. Uh, and plenty going on with the exception of Weatherspoons, where well, by far the busiest place around weeks that we've been so far tonight. So, yeah, top marks. Yeah, it was very nice in there. Uh, it's always appreciated when a landlord does spot us and come buys us a drink because it is an expensive quest that we're on. So, big, uh, big thanks to Julian for that. Uh, right, five minute walk uh, then around. We're back on the outskirts, the sort of thing, uh, I suppose. Five minute walk down one of the, uh, the other main roads. The old crown, which is stop number, uh, stop number eight. Uh, of the night so far. I think we've got 10 to do and I'll stop 8. So yeah, not doing too bad. Uh, you can feel the history of this one. It's definitely, this is an old pub. It's set, set back um, up a little slope uh, in amongst a lot of houses that obviously weren't here years ago when the pub was here probably. Um, you, can feel the, you can feel the age of it. Um, it's got wooden beams and things like that. Uh, odd, odd shaped ceilings, things like that. It's, uh, it's very clean, very nice. Second Indian run pub of the night uh, with another really, really good looking uh, curry house menu on. I still, I think this is an absolute blinding idea because, because honestly, like when I'm drinking, I would love to smash a curry while I'm sat drinking. Um, it's it's a pub split into two sides again. Um, there's plenty of screens around the pub. Um, so you can watch the uh, watch the act and things like that. Yeah, and a nice way about it. A good mix of age ranges of people using the pub again. It's good. Yeah, nice pub that. Uh, Rumour has it that they've, the people who've got that have just taken it on. So if they have, uh, we definitely wish them the best with it. Uh, so I love, I love a curry menu in a pub because I'm really hungry right now and I could smash a curry. But uh, three minute walk brings you to the plough. That's Holly's I Need a Wee Dance, in case you caught that on the video. Yep, <sighs> always moaning at me because she needs a wee and I'm filming. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, the, the exterior of this is absolutely beautiful. So this is the plough. Uh, and this is stop number nine of our night. Um, yeah, it's got, uh, got a hand pull on stuff on here. It's got a pool table uh, and bad football and stuff on. It feels, uh, feels like a local pub, definitely. Um, it, it's bright, airy. Uh, some decent tunes being banged on. Um, Pedigree on the uh, on the taps. Pool table over there. Uh, dog friendly. Lovely old doggy down there. 
laminate uh, he's called Barney man he's nearly 10 and he's a sweetheart love a pub with a love a pub with a dog to be a yeah, it's definitely a locals pub but uh, really friendly we met the landlord Carl he was a nice fellow we met Andy who uh, runs the Millstone in Stanford that we visited a, lot, a while ago apparently he lives here uh, and he's got a load of other pubs all around the country so looking forward to getting around them if the millstone from Stanford is anything to go by uh, final stop of the night for us though is going to be the 1852 so an even 10 uh, for tonight finishing us off in style it's got some disco lights going on it's definitely open uh, apparently again this is reopened with somebody new running it from what the rumour is in the town anyway weeks has been fun uh, seeing the last one of the night and getting myself and this one some food Start number 10, the 1852. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb uh, and say this one's called the 1852 because it's probably from 1852. Uh, it certainly looks that way. So uh, it looks looks near on like coming up to 200 years old. Um, weird experience with the uh, with the staff. Like they're all, um, there's not many people in here admittedly, but yeah, they, they, the staff are all um, shot in tequilas and things behind a bar and didn't really notice customers coming and things like that. It's uh, a bit of a weird experience. Um, I, I don't I don't really know. Um, there's not anybody in here with the, the old disco thing. Um, so I'm not sure why that's still going. Um, but it's a nice looking old pub to be honest, but I'm not too sure what's going on. Whether it's new people in or whether it's old people just about to leave uh, and they're just there on that wind down when they don't give too much of a stuff about it, I don't really know. But yeah, it's a nice um it's a nice looking old uh, old historic boozer. I said you're not gonna you're not gonna get a load of um, you're not going to get a load of like hand pulls or like that on. It's not not a real alpha or drinkers pub type thing. But um, yeah, weeks has been alright. It's a it's a different it's definitely experience. It's, it's a bit spread out. Not really necessarily something you would walk round instantly and do and and be able to do a little pub calling. But yeah, we we've had a nice enough night. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, we're off to Bradford tomorrow. Bring it on.